Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the robots file for Big Commerce. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, store owner, just like you, and I run an online community. I'll have a link at the end if you're interested in joining. Let me share my screen and let's talk about robots. Okay, what is the robots file? What is this robots text? First of all, every site should have a robots text file and the URL of it is going to be your domain slash robots.txt. This is not a big commerce thing, but how to edit it is a big commerce thing. So just about every site in the world has a robots text file. It should have a robots text file. Even if it doesn't, it should. This is just good SEO practice is to have a file like this. And what it does is it tells search engine crawlers what they should and should not do. And so this is the robots text file that is on this particular uh, sandbox store. And this is how it should look just by default. You have this thing up here that says user agent star. This means for every, you know, every crawler that crawls here, these are the rules. And it says disallow all this stuff, right? And what this means is <clears throat> it's saying don't crawl our account.php page because you're not logged in. There's nothing you're going to see. So why index it? So this is basically a, a love letter to the search engine saying, here's all this stuff we don't want you to count, right? We don't want all this, you know, this garbage just polluting our search engine results when it's not really going to take anybody to anything that makes sense, right? Nobody needs to come from Google to my checkout. You know, nobody needs to go to my finish order.php, which is my thank you page, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is just a list of all the pages that you're saying explicitly, I don't want these indexed. Now you can get fancy with this. You can look up other tutorials and see that you can create other user, user agents. Like if you wanted a rule set for just Google, you could have another chunk in your robots text file that says user agent. I think it's just Google or Google bot or something like that. Um, you could do separate ones for, you know, Firefox and all kinds of stuff. Um, you can keep it simple and just kind of start with what BigCommerce has. Now, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to add something to your robots text file or your SEO said, hey, I need access to it, right? So this is what it is. Let me show you where to get to it. So in your back end, click on settings and scroll down to the general tab. And right here under website, you can see it says search engine robots. That's where we want to be. So that takes us to the website tab of the store settings. And if we scroll down here under, under the SEO section, we have search engine robots. And this is where the content here of our robots text file is. Um, you can see that it is actually missing a couple things because big commerce adds this stuff to the end of it. So I'm just, you know, it is what it is. They're, they're, de-indexing some things that they really, really don't think should be indexed. De -in yeah, should not be indexed. But long story short, if you need like some other pages, like maybe you have a wholesale category, for example, and you don't want it to be indexed, you can come in here and add another line and, t and say slash wholesale, you know, if that's the relative link. That's it. Um, that's all you need to know. So whoever's Whoever's asked you to find this probably has some very specific things that they want to, um, you know, disallow, and this is where they do it. Hopefully that helps. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. If you're interested in our community, check out ecommerceamplifiers.com. And if you need help uh, from a dev standpoint, reach out to me and my team at epicdesignlabs.com. And I really appreciate it. Thanks, you guys.